Okay, so I finally managed to get the Nintendo Switch emulator Skyline working on the Orange Pi 5. This is the Orange Pi 5B, the 16 gig model that I got sent. And uh, as you can see, I've got a Stadia controller plugged in via USB. Uh, I've got a mouse keyboard there, Ethernet. This is a USB stick, which is formatted to NTFS so it can handle the bigger files. Uh, and then I've just got the audio going out to my speaker. I've only installed a few programs into this. Uh, so I've got the Aptide Store, ES File Explorer, and also RA. All have been very useful. And if we go into the emulator, I've got two versions come up on here, but the 1.0.0 is the only one I've got to work. Uh, I've got this Minecraft game, but uh, it's not launching for me. Uh, I'm not sure about the incomplete production keys. If I go into uh, production keys, I did actually import some in uh, for the version of Switch software that I have, which is 16.0.0, but I still haven't got Minecraft to show up on here. So let's launch this one and hit play. I've turned on a few things like FPS. Uh, if I go down the bottom here, you can see where the eye is. I can get rid of that, although you have to wait for this to disappear, and then I can do that. And if I press A on the joypad, I've configured that in the settings, both the analog sticks and all the shoulder buttons and everything. So resume, let's just press the volume up on here. Left and right, and A to start. I haven't got any sound. Oh, I think I'm going to have to restart because I did have sound before. USB audio. Box audio. Ah, there you are, it's back. I just turned my speaker on and off. Now I'm not sure if I can use music, so... What have I got? Nothing on there. Okay, I can't see any controls to do music, so I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. And you can see it seems to move around all right in this environment, but also if I head into this bit, it's not a game I've played before. And the sound is great on it, no problems with the sound at all. This is the only game I've tried so far or managed to get working, but I've only tried two. And you can see all of this looks pretty good. It does seem very playable. And you can see I can become this cat and I can... There you go, destroy the enemies. Oh, oh I, thought, I thought that was something I couldn't, I couldn't pick up. And up here. And the graphics look decent, it's certainly, I, I haven't found any flaws with this. Oh, I didn't know I could climb up the wall like that. Oh, I can go over here as well. Okay. So, it's looking great, and I think it's pretty much given me, yeah, a solid 60, or it just dropped down to 59. But it doesn't, you don't feel it when you're playing it. It does feel nice and swift. Uh, so let's quit out of that, because I don't really know what I'm doing. And uh, oh, there's a settings option here, which I've not tried. Enable custom settings, reset custom settings. So because it's in-game, there's only a few things you can change. But if I quit out of the game and go up to this menu. So I'd had a tip in the comments to use the docked mode to get more FPS, although I seem to have been getting full FPS anyway. Um, but I found that if I turn this on, uh, I, the game didn't launch. I'll try it again uh, because I've been playing around with lots of things. And if we scroll down under controller, you basically just go down to the sticks here, just tap on this and configure your controller and it all seems to work. You can see all of mine is configured to my Stadia controller. Right, let's try it with that docked mode. But before, it wasn't working for me. Yeah, normally by now I would have seen... Oh no, there's the launch screen. Let's press A. So this is the docked mode. Well, maybe it is working now. So less FPS look. Still feels alright, doesn't feel quite as smooth. 
There you go. So definitely the other mode seemed better for me. So which way around was that? Docked mode and off. Oh, okay. Other way. So the system will emulate being in handheld mode. So you get more FPS. So it is probably using a lower resolution. But yeah, so far so good. Really impressive to see this running on the Orange Pi. Uh, what I think I'll do is try and boot this up on my 4 gig model, Orange Pi 5, and see if that works. So I've got the Android 12 version. Uh, it's actually the 5B version, but I think it will work in my Orange Pi 5. Uh, and I've got a little stick because I have trouble with um, my SD card slot. But I think this generally works all right now. And let's switch on. Got no fan on there at the moment because I've had to uh, play around with the SD card slot. Okay, so let's launch it all on the controller. And the game. Ah, it's just quit out because I haven't configured the controller. Uh, so if I press the back button on my keyboard, no. If I press the cog, scroll down, configure controller. And so if I click on this, so use any button, so up, down, and so on. Let's configure the buttons. So I'm just pressing the left mouse button and then the corresponding one on the controller. And the plus and minus, I'm just using start and select. So let's try that. Yeah, so the controller, I can move around and control it all on the joypad. I'm pressing A and it's not launching the game. Yeah, so back. Is there anything else I should change in here? So use docked mode off. I suppose I can turn it on. Let's try that again. Ah, oh, that seems to have worked. So that's dropping a lot. Let's see how well it goes to this. Oh, the audio is fine. Let's just turn that down a little bit. Remember, this is the 4 gig Orange Pi 5, so the cheapest model. Currently showing at 60 FPS with no cooling. I probably should put a fan on there so I can skip this. See, now it's down to 30, 43 FPS. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely dipping some frames now. But it is in the docked mode, which was slower before. Docked mode, let's turn that off. So it emulates in handheld mode. And back in again. So the A button's not launching, but I did have that before. So let's quit out of that again and give that another try. Yeah, it doesn't want to launch the game. Let's keep going back out and in and see if it manages to sort itself out. No, nope, nothing there. Do docked mode again, just to see if that is more consistent. Yeah, it does seem to be more consistent in docked mode, but obviously the performance isn't as good. So let's quit out of that. Let's just try switching it back again. I mean, this is obviously early days for this emulator, but it is very impressive already. No, I'm pressing A. Start, select, none of that's working. Okay, so still on the Orange Pi 5 and a different SD card now because I'm using Orange Pi OS Droid version 0.0.5 and uh, all the same setup as before. I've just configured it, so let's give it a try. Dock mode is off at the moment, so this should give us better performance if it will launch. So let's go back and select 1.0.0. So this is Orange Pi OS 0.0.5 and uh, running on the 4 gig Orange Pi 5. Let's just get rid of the graphics here. I can't seem to be able to get rid of this white line top and bottom. There's probably a way of doing it in the settings, um, but uh, it's obscuring the FPS. But it does seem to be absolutely fine speed-wise now, so it definitely doesn't feel like the sort of 40, 45 FPS that I was getting before. So if you have a look at this, just to show on this 4 gig model, it is running nice and smooth still looks pretty decent a little bit so oh, that wasn't good not a good start
<laughs> not doing very well though. But yeah, that, that definitely seems to be coping really well, even on four gig, which is really impressive. I mean, obviously dependent on the game, you may fa find that having the more RAM is gonna be beneficial, but that seems to be not struggling at all. And also I haven't got any active cooling on this. So now I'm using OpenFide on the Raspberry Pi 5B with 16 gig of RAM with the Stadia controller, but unfortunately, it doesn't register it. So when I'm trying to uh, configure the controller, it just doesn't show up at all, which is often a thing with Chrome. Uh, so I'll head back to Android. So Orange Pi OS Droid. I'm gonna see if I can configure Bluetooth on this uh, with this Stadia controller. So connect to devices, let's put it into pairing mode and pair new device, Stadia controller, pair. Okay, it's showing up and it's working. So can we get Bluetooth controller working with this? So I might need to reconfigure. Let's see what happens if I go straight in. So I'm pressing the A button. Oh, and it's quit out. So that just means it needs configuring. So let's go back and back again. And I'll have to reconfigure the controller. So it's treating it like a completely separate device. So hit next and up, yeah, that's working. Yeah, well that configured exactly the same as a wired controller. So let's launch the game again. Yeah, that's working great. So I need to try the Bowser game as well. Oh, was lucky. And see how that works. So if I do exit and yes, how do I go back from here? Menu plus for menu, exit the title screen. Yeah, all of this works absolutely perfectly. So do I press right? Oh, here we go. So I haven't tried Bowser's Fury yet. So we'll see if we still get 60 FPS on that. Nice little Mario loading icon down the bottom right there. Let's try and skip all of this. Oh wow, this looks cool. Much less FPS, but it doesn't feel slow. Right stick to look around. A little bit of a stutter there. Is this running too fast? Or is this what it's meant to be like? Blimey, it is so fast. I mean, it might be an effect. Oh, it's dropping, 22, 17. Okay, so it's struggling with this bigger 3D environment. So obviously it's gonna be a mixed bag as to what games are gonna work. How do I get through there, around the corner? Although, so yeah, it's slowing down, but it, it actually feels all right. Might stay away from that fireball. Oh, oh, can't see. And it looked like it had trouble with some of those effects then. Where am I going here? Is it on this platform? <laughs> What's, what do I do here? There's something up here. Yeah, there's definitely something up there, but I can't see the... It would be good to know the controls. Oh, the steps. <laughs> How did I miss that? And we're there. Yeah, you can see it's dropping and it's going, you can see it was going up to 50 there. So I don't know if it's meant to run at 30 because it's a more demanding game uh, than the first one. Oh, I struggling there. And this looks nice, but you can see it's stuttery. Oh, I can skip this bit. So what we're getting, 29, 30 FPS. Quite a nice big 3D environment. And obviously this is really early days for this emulator. 
So we might definitely get much better performance. And obviously some games are going to play a lot better than others. Do I just jump off here? Let's give it a go. It looked like soft snow. Okay, so I'm going to quit out of it there. Let's just check what mode I was in. Uh, so, oh, where's the settings option? Back again? No. Let's go back in and see. I'm pretty sure I was in handheld mode. Yeah, I was in handheld mode. And let's just show you, there's a GitHub for this. So if you go to the GitHub, and then where did I see it? If we go back here, yeah, Skyline Games List. Yeah, so this is definitely a different list than I found before. Let's just try, let's try this one. Yeah, this was the one I found before. And you can see Super Mario's on there and it says playable. And I don't see Minecraft on there, so maybe it was in the in-game list, which is a much bigger list, look, 905 games. But uh, yeah, let me know what games you have success with. Uh, oh, there you go, Minecraft Legend Legends does say in-game. But uh, if you know why it's not working for me, please let me know in the comments. But uh, very impressive so far. Great work by everybody involved. And uh, it, uh, it actually performs pretty well. Obviously, it's going to depend on what sort of game. If you're going to play a really rich 3D environment, um, so something like Zelda Breath of the Wild, is, is, I'm sure is going to be way off at this stage on the Orange Pi 5. But you never know. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Please like and subscribe.